So here's a very beautiful cichlid display with a huge range of cichlids, um, compressor seps, ACIs, red empress, clown loach, yeah, electric yellows, um, pulpicans, manganos, lombardies, um, some leilupi, morii, just a lovely big mix. And the fish are constantly breeding too because it's got a lot of leafy litter in there. The babies are easily able to get amongst it and survive. Because the key to fish breeding, oh, there's really nice crimson tides too. Then over here we've got a tank which has got breeding going on. There is heaps of bristlenose in here. And then we've got some stacked up breeding weed allowing the babies to get inside. And once again this tank has also got lots of um, leafy plants that the babies can get inside to survive. And then something else which is absolute key for babies surviving is a pile of rubble. Because if you had a pile of rubble like that, the babies are easily able to get in amongst the cracks and survive in a tank. Now this tank is absolutely full of electric yellows. And electric yellows are quite shy fish. So he was complaining the fish don't come out very much, even though there's heaps of fish in here. And that is characteristic of electric yellows. They're very shy. And if you put in a school of mid-dwelling fish... The electric yellows will then come out. It doesn't matter how many electric yellows you have in a tank, they'll still be very flighty if there's not a mid-dwelling fish f for them to feel safe to allow them to come out. This is a really beautiful rock structure which is actually sicker flakes together. The slate.